There's no greater danger for any organization than to keep the technology it's always used to refine and perfect what it's always done, instead of letting it go and moving on to the next technology platform. Abandoning old technology for a new one is commonly referred to as the burning platform effect. It requires organizations to take a leap of faith and to continually adapt as new technologies create new paradigm shifts. Let me illustrate what happens as a result of a burning platform effect with two concrete examples. The first company takes advantage of new technology and makes a paradigm shift, and the second doesn't. Our first example is Nintendo. Nintendo has been creating games since 1889. They started with traditional Japanese playing cards called Hanufada, which were made possible by the printing press. From there, Nintendo has consistently used new technology to transform their business and become a leader in the gaming industry. They were even among the first to introduce gaming consoles and mobile gaming devices. Still, they didn't dwell on these successes. Instead, they revolutionized mobile gaming when they launched Pokemon Go in 2016. And then the first cloud gaming console, Nintendo Switch, one year later in 2017. At a time when most of their competitors were going out of business, Nintendo jumped from one burning platform to the next, consistently maintaining and even expanding its market share and customer base along the way. So what makes Nintendo so successful at this? The answer is that they consistently focus on why they exist, not how they operate. They exist because they want people to play, and naturally, they'll use any technology as a resource to achieve this mission. If they focused on liquid crystal displays as the best tool for gaming, then each new technology would have posed a threat to them. Instead, they utilized liquid crystal displays for a while and then quickly shifted as the next technology became available to continue motivating people to play. This is an example of a company that thrives with new technology. By contrast, companies that sold encyclopedias all focused on how they operate, how to print and sell a very specific set of books. And this is what they were proud of, a beautiful set of leather-covered books lined up on the shelves of the finest libraries. And because of the high cost of these sets, only a few scholars or the elite could afford them. For businesses that made and sold encyclopedias, they needed printing machines, well-kept warehouses, bookshelf makers, a way to ship and receive heavy containers, and a good door-to-door -door selling mechanism. These companies became obsessed with the books and lost sight of their initial mission, to capture and share human knowledge by any means. Naturally, as new technology became available, instead of serving as an opportunity, it served as a threat to their business. The first of these threats was the CD-ROMs. Quite amazingly, all the CD-ROM-based encyclopedia providers made the exact same mistake and were later driven out of business by cloud-native applications such as Wikipedia. Nintendo and encyclopedia companies were both born from the printing era. Nintendo beginning with traditional playing cards and encyclopedias stemmed from traditional books. Yet, the two companies didn't react to their burning platform in the same way, and their businesses led to very different outcomes. One thrives and the other no longer exists. Many other traditional industries have been disrupted in similar ways. The movie rental industry, for example, has been disrupted with on-demand streaming services. And chemical film manufacturers have been disrupted with LCD sensors and smartphone revolution. Any business leader who considers cloud technology as not relevant to them, or even worse, as a threat to the way they've always done business, risks facing a fate similar to that of encyclopedia companies. Disruption or ceasing to exist entirely. Imagine the impact the slow decline of a business has on its workforce. Many jobs are lost, and the remaining workforce is not skilled or able to manage the demands of the new world. The downstream impacts are significant too. Vendors and partners could face a sharp decline in revenue due to loss of business. Now the good news is, the cloud is still very new for many businesses. 
Wherever a business is in their cloud adoption journey, there's still time to catch up. The key point is that now is the time for organizations to accelerate their digital transformation and shift the way they think about their business potential. In the next video, I'll cover what becomes possible when you start to embrace cloud technology for your business.